to perform the individual manual muscle test for extensor pollicis longus. The patient is seated at the table with the forearm supported on the table in neutral pronation supination. The thumb is extended at both the metacarpal phalangeal and the interphalangeal joints. Stabilization is provided at the proximal phalanx and resistance is applied to the dorsal distal phalanx, basically right over the thumbnail, in the direction of flexion. So I want you to hold your thumb way on back like that, very good, and don't let me bend it down. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. <coughs> Trick or substitute movements, there really aren't any trick or substitute movements. Extensor pollicis longus is the really only main muscle tendon unit that will extend the thumb interphalangeal joint. However, uh, Kendall in Muscle Testing and Function also states that the abductor pollicis brevis, the flexor pollicis brevis, the adductor pollicis, and the first palmar interosseous muscles can also extend the thumb IP joint in that they insert on the extensor expansion of the thumb. The extensor pollicis longus is palpated right back here as it, the tendon forms the dorsal border of the radial anatomic snuff box.